Konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be comparing two very popular Japanese paddle washers. If this sounds like your thing, then please go ahead and channel the video. So, I thought I would finally do a comparison review on these two products, the Suisei Beauty Clear Powder and the Funk It A Deep Clear Washing Powder. They're both obviously powder washers and have been incredibly popular in Japan for a while now. Even recently, I checked the At Cosway website and in the powder wash category, the Funk It was first and the Suisei was second. And then even in the like all face washes category, like top racking face washes, no matter what formula, both of these were still in the top five. So they are still incredibly popular and often compared to each other. So I thought I'll put together a video for you guys today to see what the differences are, see what's better or see which one might suit you better. So let's check out the specs between the two. So the Suisei one is 32 capsules at 1,800 Japanese yen. It includes 0.4 grams per capsule versus the Fankiru being 30 capsules at 1,800 yen. I try to look up how much is included in each capsule but i couldn't find it online or on the packaging but honestly looking at it it does seem like there is more product in the funky one versus the suisei one so i would say like for value for money they're pretty much the same since this contains 32 and this contains 30 for the same price the key ingredients in the Suisei one is protease and lipase for the kind of exfoliating properties. It also has amino acids and fermented soy extracts as their kind of highlighted key ingredients versus the Funkin one. Also has protease for the exfoliation, but then also includes charcoal and clay, which are both kind of extracting deep cleansing ingredients. And then it does also include amino acids and hyaluronic acid. The Suisei is free from fragrance and colorant versus the Funkin one being free from those two, fragrance and colorant, but also preservatives and ethanol. So that might be a kind of big difference between the two is that Funkiru, as I kind of realized recently using another product by them, don't use preservatives and it is also alcohol free or ethanol alcohol free, whereas this is someone does include some alcohol. Next, we're going to move on to the foam test and see how these two foam up. Alright, so we will be starting off with the Suicide Beauty Clear Powder. You may have seen this gadget used a couple times in the past in my videos, but it is a foaming net. You can use just your hands to foam up the cleanser, but you definitely get a way bigger, fluffier, nice foam if you do use a foaming net. So I'm going to be using one to test these out. As you can see, it doesn't take much work to get a nice handful of foam. I will say the Suisei one is definitely more like a fluffy, airy um, foam, if that makes sense. I did also test the pH of the cleanser for you guys. Um, as you can see, the strip doesn't actually change color, which means it is a pH neutral of six, which is pretty good. A lot of Japanese cleansers can sometimes have a higher pH. So this one's a pH neutral, so it will be gentle on your skin and non-drying. Now moving on to the Funkiru one, you may have seen in the earlier clips that the actual powder does seem a lot finer compared to the Suisei and you can actually see the powder on the um, foaming net versus the Suisei kind of disappeared. I mean, it might be because it is a darker color. It's got that charcoal-y, um, gray black color to it. Although once you do foam it up, it's definitely not that dark. It's just like a very light gray shade. Again, with very little effort, you get a palm full of foam. I don't know, maybe it's just me. It seems like there is more foam compared to the Suisei one. And this one is definitely more dense. It is bouncier. It has more like bounce back power, if you get what I mean. <laughs> and once again, after testing the pH, this one was also a neutral pH of six. So the strip didn't change any color, meaning that it's going to be non-drying as well. Now that we have all the kind of technical specs out of the way, we'll talk about actual usability and my opinions on using both of the products. So I do think both products really do help to cleanse the skin well, cleanse pores, and even with one use, you can definitely feel a difference in the appearance of your pores. It does seem to cleanse it well to the point where your skin does look brighter and 
tends to get rid of that kind of dirt that might be stuck in your pores. Both of them have also proven to keep this kind of dirt and stuff away with consistent use. I was reading a lot of reviews online in Japanese and a lot of people said like just before the one month mark you can really tell a difference um, with your pores, not the pore size, but basically keeping the dirt or dark ness of your skin away by using these pretty consistently. I personally use them more as a pick-me-up when I felt like my skin was like a little bit rough but I didn't want to go in with like a full exfoliation. This was the perfect way to kind of get rid of some of that build up in the pores. There were a couple of instances where I used them multiple days in a row and it definitely didn't leave my skin irritated whatsoever. Once you foam it up you really can't feel any of the grittiness. I feel like some other powders I've washed <laughs> What? I feel like some other powder washes I've used like the Wish Trend one or the um, Good Molecule one you can still feel like a very slight grittiness in the foam basically because it doesn't foam up that much but both of these foam up to the point where you really can't feel any of the powder it's literally just like a foaming cleanser so it truly is really gentle for your skin and can be used every day so the biggest difference I felt between the two I will say they are pretty similar personally speaking but the biggest difference I found was that the funky one that felt less drying I feel like my skin after I used it and um, dried my skin it still felt quite moist and plump and that it didn't kind of draw away any of my moisture from the skin compared to the Suse one but the Suse one made my skin feel like a bit Silkier. I felt like it was more an instant effect in feeling very silky and smooth and kind of well washed and exfoliated at the same time. Overall, honestly, they are both pretty nice. Um, there's obviously a reason why they are often compared to and ranked very close to each other and they kind of flip flop all the time because they are pretty similar and they're both very, very nice products. Obviously, the biggest con for both products is that they are individually wrapped so it is a lot of wastage um you basically throw out one of these per use so it's not great i'm not gonna lie but um the pros of it being individually wrapped is that it is very hygienic like bacteria isn't going to get into it since you open a fresh one every time and i have also had this for a while it was manufactured in 2019 but i know it's still not expired since they are all individually wrapped and you can use it over a very long period of time which is nice as i mentioned earlier i do think you can probably get more use out of the funk getter because i feel like each capsule is more than enough for one use i do tend to split it up in two uses and use it like two days in a row because it's just more than enough product versus the suicide i definitely think you need one capsule for one use so for that reason i guess value for money the funky wins and then the funky is definitely more updated and a modern version the suicide has been around for literally the longest time it's a classic like everyone knows that i know there's like a billion people who will continue to use this but this one is more modern and updated in the sense that like the formula doesn't include ethanol and i feel like they've achieved a really good cleansing powder without it being drying so I guess in conclusion, I may like the Funky One better, but they're both great products, and if you do get a chance to try them out, I would highly recommend. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I said I was going to do this video for the longest time and never did. Sorry. So I hope you did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!